Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Microsoft Teams has a major update that's just rolling out. I've got most of these features in the new update already. I want to run you through them, but just a quick overview. Um, back when Teams started, when you had a meeting, it was a two by two grid when you were in your meeting, so you could see four people, including yourself. Then in April of this year, they decided to bump it up to nine people, a three by three grid. Well, now to catch up with Zoom is my guess is we're going to be able to see 49 people in a meeting in Teams. They call this large gallery mode. Uh, they're also going to roll out together mode where it looks like everyone's actually together in the meeting next to each other. Also, and I've been waiting for this one for a while. If you recall last month, I showed you I chat a lot in Teams, so I showed you where they came out with the new feature where you can pop out your chats, which I love. Well, now you can pop out your meeting from Teams, because when you're in the meeting, you couldn't really do a whole lot of other stuff. Now you can. So I have um, already, I have a channel pulled up, and I've got planner running, so I'm going to run through this checklist real quick. I'm also going to show you how to check to see if you already have this feature because it's um, it's just a little tricky on how to see if you have it and then actually use it. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and get started with the meeting. Up in the top right is meet. Click it once. Meet now. So just to show you this, this, this is the old toolbar right here. So let me pull up the new one. Go to settings. Turn on. Close this. I'm going to right click in the bottom. Pull up Teams and do a quit there. You got to right click down in the notification area. Right click on Teams and hit quit. Now it should work. Let's go see if that's still turned on now. So settings. Now it's still running. Now we're good. Meet. So here is the new meeting screen. If you notice, it looks completely different. I'm going to select join now and I'm going to turn on my web camera. Perfect. Join now. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and knock out one of the best features when it connects. I'll show you this. All right. So now the meeting's connected and it's already in a separate window, which you used to not have. So if I move this out of the way, you'll see that Teams is running in the background. So I could put this on another monitor. I could put it side by side. I can do whatever. Another change is the toolbar that was floating down here is now up in the top right corner. Another change is also next to leave, there's leave and there's end meeting. Whenever someone is sharing their screen or presenting, so I'm going to do a share. That opens up the share tray. I'm going to do a PowerPoint. So if I had people in this meeting, all our videos are being displayed down at the bottom. But what I really want people to do is focus on the presentation. So we now have more actions, focus. Basically, this will turn off everyone's camera. So now everyone's looking at the shared content in the meeting. I'll do that again. I'll turn it back off. So now focus is off. Everyone's video is at the bottom. Another new feature is the meeting notes. So if you want to come and take meeting notes, they used to show up over here on the task pane over here. So now if I go to show meeting notes, take notes, this is a cool feature. Watch this. It pulls up the meeting notes here and these notes are available either before the meeting, if I took notes before the meeting, during the meeting, and they're available after the meeting. So that is a new feature. Your meeting notes are now in a separate window. So not rolled out yet, but you need this update is large group. So if there are, um, Microsoft went from member four to nine, which is it is now, and they're going to be at 49 in August of this year. So the minute 10 or more people are in the meeting, it jumps to the 49 grid layout. 
Also, you'll have together mode where everyone is sharing a virtual background. So those are two more new meeting features that are coming. I'm going to go ahead and end this meeting. I tell it before I end the meeting, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know if you have any questions about these new meeting features in Microsoft Teams. The same way I popped out a meeting I've already demonstrated before last month or this month, how you can pop out your chats too. So Microsoft is throwing a lot of resources at Teams, which is great. Thank you. Have a great day.